Hey guys, welcome to Creative Cooking in Chica's Kitchen. Welcome to my channel. My name is Ani and today I'm going to bring you, um, what, sh what shall I call it? Um, I guess it's going to be a jalapeno cornbread casserole. Um, some people call it a Mexican uh, casserole, I, although I don't know why, maybe because of the jalapenos, I guess. Some people call it an enchilada cornbread casserole, cornbread bake or something, whatever. I'm going to just call it what it is, which is a jalapeno cornbread casserole. And what the reason why I decided on this recipe is because the leftover meat from when I made the Greek lasagna, the pasticcio, um, I figured I could use this in a casserole, in a cornbread casserole. See, and I've got this little bitty casserole here, and this is just deep enough and big enough for one box of honey cornbread and this much leftover uh, ground turkey and meat, beef rather. And I'm going to utilize some of the Fiesta Blend cheese for it. And I'm gonna go ahead, I had a little bit of Monterey Kobe Jack cheese left, I'm just gonna toss that and get rid of it. And then I'm going to top it off with my cheddar. Cheddar, I said cheddar. <laughs> It's about uh, quarter to noon till 12, Tuesday morning. And uh, I figure I better start getting uh, dinner ready. I've got lots to do. I'm also thinking about making some um, donuts, uh, filled donuts, cream filled donuts. I got... I made some chocolate pudding last night and some some of that leftover meringue. Uh, I have that. I have some strawberry uh, jam in, in the refrigerator. I can also stuff some with that. But just to get rid of the lemon meringue uh, filling, and um, I decided to throw in some chocolate. So I made that last night to go along with it. I don't want that lemon meringue filling. Uh, as good as it is and homemade as it is to go to waste or to go bad so I'm going to make some donuts I'm going to make the dough from scratch because I don't have jumbo biscuits that are home style I only have the flaky ones and they don't work okay so anyway let me go ahead and chop up my jalapenos and I'll be right back okay I've chopped up my jalapenos and I'm also going to put in some Parmesan Romano. I've got, I'm using Almond Breeze uh, milk, unsweetened. So this is the cornbread that I'm going to do. I'm going to do it by uh, this pre-made mix. And let's see. I need two thirds cup of milk, one third cup of vegetable oil, and one egg. So, let's get the one egg in here. All right, that's a good egg. Okay. I'm going to do two-thirds cup of this milk. Two-thirds cup of milk. Then we're going to do one-third cup of oil. One 
with their cup of oil. Okay. Put in our mix. We mix. We're going to go ahead and whisk this up. Oh, by the way, to it, we're going to add our jalapenos. And this is the honey cornbread, so I really don't need to add any honey or sugar or anything. And the contrast between this and the salty meat, it's gonna be so good. And the cheese. Like I said, this is gonna be fairly simple because the meat's already pre-cooked. If I didn't have it pre-cooked, I would just pre-cook my meat. I would just cook the meat. You know, cook it the way you like it, with the seasonings you like. So we're going to pour in half of this mix. Make sure it's well incorporated, everything from the bottom. Start it from the bottom, now we're here. Okay. We're going to spread that out. I'll show you exactly what it looks like in a second. Put a little bit more. That's what it looks like. Preheat our oven. Uh, 350. Let's see what this box says. 375. We want it at 375, you all. So. Alright. So I got my oven preset. I'm using the rest of this Monterey Jack cheese, but I'm going to put some Parmesan Romano. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and scoop in our meat.
Okay. So we want to use a fork to kind of spread that meat out. So it doesn't dig into the cornbread mix too much. Okay, we'll just flake that meat right all around. Spread it all around, flaking it out with the fork. I think this is a bay leaf. Yep, it is. Take that out. Here's another one. Oh, I thought that was. All right, so once you got your meat all spread out, We are going to put in some Fiesta Blend. Fiesta Blend cheese. And sprinkle that. A nice generous amount. Should you get the edges? Okay. Some more Parmesan Romano. And then the rest of your batter. I'm gonna make sure we cover all the edges. Okay. All right, that is done. So now all we need to do just top it off with some mild cheddar or the cheese of your choice. Remember, always bake with mild cheddar. It melts better. You know, uh, sharp is okay. Extra sharp, big no-no. That won't melt. That'll just, like, powder up on you, break, fall apart on you. It doesn't melt with ease. So, 
Or you can wait till after it bakes and pour halfway and then pour a liquid, like a salsa cheese on there. Just get creative. You put it on this side so you can see what I'm doing. That would be a smart thing, Ani, considering you're shooting a video <laughs> to demonstrate. All right, so, folks, this is that simple. And bacon and dinner is done, you know? That's it. Out of the kitchen. I just got to make a salad. And uh, I've already got some bread made. Some uh, garlic basil uh, artisan bread made. So I don't have to worry about that. And I am out of the kitchen, y'all. It is that simple. So the oven is almost at 375. We're going to go ahead and Throw this puppy in. Let me put my cheeses away. I don't like anything to sit out. Too long. Alright, put my milk away. So what I'm going to do is as soon as my oven heats up to 375, which is at 340 right now, I'm going to throw this in and bake it for about... Mm, 30 to, I guess, 30 minutes would do. We'll check it after 30 minutes. And then that's it. I'll show you what it looks like. And I'll cut a piece um, just to show you. And that'll be it. That'll be dinner. Isn't that wonderful? It's so simple. All right. Well, I'll bring you back as soon as this comes out of the oven. All right. Time went off. I did have to leave it. For an hour and 15 minutes in my oven at 375, I did have to tent it with aluminum foil after about 30 minutes. All right. And as you can see, I had sliced into it to see that if it was done and it wasn't so I went ahead and put a little bit of aluminum foil over it to tent it so that the inside can cook and then put the timer for another 20 minutes well actually um I, yeah 20 minutes at 50 minutes and then it was still not done so I did an additional 20 minutes so an hour and 15 minutes total cooking time is what this took me all right in my oven to get done so I'm gonna let that cool off and then we're gonna slice into it and we're gonna see the deliciousness which is the jalapeno uh, beef taco uh, not taco cornbread bake I'll be back. Okay, we're gonna cut into this. Let me turn some light on. It's kind of a rainy day. Oh, kind of cloudy. And we're gonna cut into this. Okay, this is definitely done now. Okay, see that? It's done. It's still hot. It's not cooled down as much as I would like it to be. But I have to go ahead and get started on my donut. Uh, recipe which I believe I have a video I'm gonna check I think I do already have a video on so I don't have to do another one Woo -wee. there 
And here it is, folks. This is definitely done. This looks really good. Go ahead and put this on the bottom of this. Huh? Losh. Look at this. Mmm. This is so good. Okay. Here it is. This is your cornbread. And you see how the cornbread covers the meat all the way around? You can't even see it except for when you cut it in the middle. Yeah, and I love the corner pieces because of this crispiness right here. Oh, that is so delicious. That little crunch. And you can top it off with some salsa, some sour cream. I'm going to do a little bit of both. Go ahead and do a little salsa. This is uh, the Pecani medium salsa right here. Top that off. Put some salsa in there. And a little bit of sour cream. A little dab of do ya. There we go. Alright. Y'all. A very simple and delicious recipe. That is. My jalapeno. Cornbread. Beef casserole. Okay. Make yourself some. It is absolutely delicious. Until the next recipe, you all take care of yourselves and one another. Bye. God bless you.